<laughs> Ready? Right here, please. Is there anyone tonight associated with any of the other films in the festival that you're hoping to see viewing your movie at the premiere tonight? Yes, but they won't be here, unfortunately. Okay. It's Ben. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to try and sneak into his movie. Okay, do you want to say anything to him right now? Oh, this is your own your rolling video. <laughs> Nothing that I haven't already said, but I just saw him in L.A., which is congratulations. And this is really fantastic work right here. Excellent. There, I'm, thank I'm you. I'm going to sneak out of my own movie and go check right. out Ergo. I am with award-winning filmmaker Noah Bouchel. Bouchel. <laughs> Bouchel. Get it right. Yeah. And the star of, of the movie of Sparrow's Dance. Marin Ireland. Marin, how you doing? Nice. I know, but I wanted to say it the way because I thought you might be worried how to say it. Brian, let me I'm, I'm we're here. <laughs> right. Heptondays.com. That's right. Is my favorite interviewer out in the Hamptons. I am Jerry Carollo. Jerry Carollo. That's right. Uh, Brian, let me just uh, start. Noah, you did uh, Missing Persons. Have you done anything between Missing Persons and Sparrow's Dance? No, why? You want to make fun of me for that? No, I want to know the subject matter of <laughs> Missing Persons. Uh, Missing Persons? Yeah. What was it about? Uh, an actor named Michael Shannon, who's going to be... Uh, the Boardwalk Empire guy? Boardwalk Empire. Oh, that, I've seen him in every movie. Go ahead, yeah. I'm listening. But I'll tell you what else he's going to be in. He's going to be the bad guy in the new Superman movie. Wow. Which, which I ghost wrote. That's a coveted position, a villain in a, a superhero movie. That's just as good as being in a, in a Bond flick, you know? I heard that he's playing the part that Terrence Stamp played. Oh, okay, yeah, Zod. 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 All right, well, let's bump it up. Let's talk about right, Sparrow's Dance, which is in the film festival right now. Congratulations, by the way. What's the premise of uh, Sparrow's Dance? You. There's a lady and she can't leave her apartment. And um, and then her toilet overflows, and so the plumber has to come over, and he falls in love with her, and then he needs some help and support. Of his hey, we're trying to do an interview here. Turn off your phones. <laughs> I'm sorry, John, you, Jack, and a few of your other co-stars had zero musical ability before you started playing, and now all three of you can play. Who's the best? The band themselves. All right, please. That's no two ways about it, right? No two ways about it. No, I mean, I, you know, it's very different. I, I, I learned the drums, which I actually would say is probably a little bit easier than learning the guitar, which is what Will and Jack learned. You know, I don't think I have the dexterity, I don't think I have the capability to learn guitar. And they learned it in two months. And they, you know, function now as guitar players. Drums, especially, you know, 60s, early rock and roll, it's pretty simple, 4-4 four, four beats, you're kind of just playing along with it. So those I felt like were a little easier to pick up. But uh, Jack and Will came a long way, you know? I'm Jerry Carolla, on assignment with Hampton Days Magazine with Bill McCuddy covering the 2012 Hamptons International Film Festival. Hearing Richard Gere sit down with uh, Alec Baldwin tonight. Right. Uh, Alec is a very, very gifted, uh, sort of off-the-cuff guy. And uh, he could have a talk show if he wanted. Uh, but uh, he's a lot of fun to watch. And Richard, Richard can be a little tight, can be a little mm -hmm. reserved. And I have a feeling that Alec will get a lot of spirits from that. In the summertime, out here in the Hamptons, where do you like to be? I go to Nichols Tavern, which is around the corner. It was a favorite of uh, Sir Paul McCartney when an English couple ran it. And I go to, uh, and I go to, um, I come here to the Mason Arms, Care of the Mason Arms, because they take care of you. That's why it's called Care of the Mason Arms. Here with Lloyd Holbrook. Now, you know, you're on the list of the top ten rising stars. I know I caught you when we were discussing this is your first role. Indeed. Are you aware that being on the top ten list, you like starting on that? Top. Everyone's looking at you in the best place to be seen. You know, exactly. I feel all of those things are extremely Right now, uh, this week you're in the film festival. Who's some of the other movie stars you're hoping to run into and see and meet? Uh, I heard Gary Oldman's here. Um, a great actor. Uh, and killing them softly. Um, and then Andrew Dominic is here as well. Um, I'm just saying, look, Richard Gere. I'm doing pretty good. I got another star off the top 10 rising star list. I got Nate Parker. How you doing, Jay? What's up, man? How are you? Hey, listen, we got to jump right into it. Uh, 
you really you've paid a lot of dues too as well. Tell us about uh, Red Hook. Oh, I um, I was uh, this year I was able to work with one of my heroes, Spike Lee, in a film called Red Hook Summer. Uh, it deals with a kid that comes from Atlanta to live in the Red Hook Projects in Brooklyn. Uh, Seriously, okay, father. good. Stay with him for the summer for the first time, first time meeting him. It was just, uh, you can imagine Spike, it doesn't get better than that. So, uh, it was just great all around. Right, just real quick, what, what is that movie about? Uh, no, 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 I'm saying like, like, like your part. Oh, yeah, oh, see, I play a, a gang member that is trying his best to, basically it's fell away from the church, that now is kind of bitter, pulled, pulling away this young man from Atlanta, uh, trying to pull him away from the good opportunities as our was given. That's the best thing I know. Right. Now you're a down south dude, mm -hmm. you were from Virginia, when you came up for Red Hook, was that your first time, like in New York? Oh no, I've, oh, I've spent expensive time in New York. It's one of my favorite places, probably my favorite city. So there was no culture shock? Not at all. If anything, it was home sweet home all over again. You know, it's funny because a lot of the, the people in New York come from down south. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, so it's like uh, a Important. lot of them have, exactly, a lot of them have, um, you know, family or great aunts or great uncles or grandparents down south. So, yeah, it was, it was like homecoming. Cool. Bump it up. Red Tails. Red Tails. Red Tails. Is, uh, I did this film with George Lucas. You know, Terrence Howard, or Hugo Benning Jr., and a lot of friends of mine. Uh, and it chronicles um, the time period when the first African American fighter uh, squadron um, flew over Berlin. Um, and it's uh, about to see the airmen. And uh, it was an incredible history lesson. Um, it, was, it was a great opportunity to just kind of train their lives and the truth of that story, a story that really needed to be told. And to do so with the, the backing and resources of, uh, of George Lucas. And, uh, so it was great. What, what, what is something you want to do while you're up here? You know what I'm saying? Like, to, you know, maybe not really the best one. Um, I kind of want to sightsee. The Hamptons is kind of like, you know, Mars. You know, there's so much about it, but you don't really get to go. You know, it's like I've never had anything that brought me here, but I've heard about the Hamptons since I was, you know, a teenager. So to be here, I kind of just want to explore the beach, go walk on the beach and see what's oh, going you, on. You, 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 you've been in New York plenty. This is your first, first time, time in here.